you make of the move from China? Well, I guess in some ways it's a rather significant move um, in, in terms of how symbolic this is because China has already been um, decreasing its purchases of U.S. agricultural products. Um, the first half soybean purchases by China this year were actually the lowest in a decade. Um, so they haven't been buying that much, but they did offer some, some goodwill purchases. Um, at the beginning of the year, they offered to buy about 10 million tons. Um, there's still about, I believe, about 4 million tons left to be shipped from the US to China. Um, and also China had offered tariff waivers. So these are um, waivers saying you don't have to pay the retaliatory tariffs to five Chinese private buyers as well, so they can get back in on the US market. Um, however, with things escalating now, China has decided to take a wait and see approach. They want to halt purchases for now um, and see how things go. We did report over the weekend that they will keep allowing the purchases that they've already made to come through into China. So at least they aren't cancelling that. It's also something that was agreed upon in Osaka, that G20 meeting, when we had the two presidents, Xi and Trump, meeting. The promise from uh, Xi Jinping there was that they would actually buy more agricultural products. This is obviously going the other way. And so the point is, uh, it lies in tatters, whatever they've been talking about, surely. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a couple of things at play here as well. Um, China's been suffering from African swine fever. So in that sense, demand has been uh, lower than usual. Um, nevertheless, the Chinese government had asked its state buyers to purchase, and they'd been stockpiling those purchases. Um,